What's good, FM Scout? Today I have got a banker of a video. You're going to love it because I'm going to show you how you can speed up the incredibly slow UI inside of FM26. One of the biggest complaints I'm seeing at the moment from the community side of things is that the UI is just so slow. To click between tabs that you can go and make a cup of coffee, it is that slow. And today, thank you to a big, big, big update from his own backing that is going to be Bassy Boy. He has come up with a way to fix this. So all credit to him. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the FM Scout channel. And if you enjoy what I put on this channel, you can also find me in the description below where I make daily tactic videos for you guys to go and check out. But this right here, let's go and do the tutorial because honestly, it's going to make the game look a lot different. And the first thing you want to go over and do is click the link in the description. It will take you to the FM26 Fast UI patch, 250% sped up. Now, it sounds like a lot, right? But trust me, it is honestly really, really smooth. And I'm going to go through step by step today, actually how you install it, what you do. And essentially, we're going to learn it together because there's nothing worse than a tutorial where they know what they're doing and they don't really show every single step. So... Let's go over and hit download right now. Right then, so welcome to my download folder. You can see it right here. This is going to be the file that you are going to have, and it's a very, very, very special file. Now, the next thing you want to go over and do is actually locate where this file is, and it is a little bit of a nightmare. So we're going to click through together so there's no confusion. So you want to go originally to your local disk C, well, actually your computer, program files 86, then to Steam, then to Steam apps, and let's do this together. So you want to go to Common, and then you want to go to obviously Football Manager 2026. Then you go to FM Data, and then you go to Streaming Assets, believe it or not. You then click AA, and you then click Standalone Windows 64, and this right here is going to be the file that you're after. Now, obviously, you have got to try and find the name of this file right here. But I've got a little tip for you, and that tip is to simply just right-click this, go to rename, actually copy that name, don't change anything of it, go back to this one, and simply hit search, and bang, just like that, it comes up in a second. It's a lot simpler. Now, they do recommend, and I will please make sure you do this, is to make a backup copy of the original. So basically go into here, Control C. I'm putting it in my music purely because it's an empty folder and it can just sit in there. And make sure you always have a backup. Just in case, make sure it's there. Now, once you have done that, hit this X. So you obviously reset to the whole standalone Windows folder. And essentially what you want to do is go back to your downloads. So it's good having sort of three tabs open here. Drag this and simply whack it in there and replace the file replace the file very key you do that and now i'll come back to you once we have booted football manager up again so we're on the home page what is going to be up next well you have to do this you want to go to your preferences go to details go to audio and visual and you want to make sure that this box right here this box is ticked off and then simply hit confirm and let's go and see the next step honestly it is beautiful so i've just had a little tinker around and if you just look how snappy this is now bassy boys hit the nail on the head when he said this this now actually feels like a video game it's responsive it's snappy you can look at the speed of these menus oh my it's like i'm playing football manager it's beautiful well done to bassy boy well done to the entire community that come up with these mods to the game because they may just save it this year be sure to leave a like and subscribe let me know if you're going to do this in your game save and yeah enjoy the rest of your day what a moment